All right, so let me see if it's recording fine. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Yes, it's recording fine. So Jim is cooking pasta, and I wanted to <laughs> use time to speak about something. So what topic do we want to start with? Whatever, go ahead. Pleiadians, I guess. Okay, what do you want to know about them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's introduce them somehow. Um, so Pleiades is a nice cluster of stars, and I know in ancient world they tested this, the vision by how many stars you can see in Pleiadian cluster. And some people see seven, some people see nine. When, I, when my vision was good, I think I saw about 13 maybe. But uh, it seems to be lo lo lots more. But apparently they're not that far from us in uh, Milky Way galaxy. And I remember by heart only one star, which is Taigeta. And But, you know, they are all in Wikipedia. You can look it up. Uh, but uh, so we're in contact with with uh, actually three kinds of Pleiadians. Uh, two come through Jim and one comes through another channeler. Um, uh, so one one group of Pleiadians is called Errans. They live on planet Era. So we ple live on planet Earth, and somewhere in the channel they said that four-dimensional Earth is called Terra which is fine, but it is an ancient word for, for Earth, I think, in one one of the languages, maybe Greek or, or Latin, maybe Greek. Yes, I'm not sure. All right, so, so Terra, uh, we are Terrans then, uh, Earthlings or Terrans, and they are Errans. And this is a nice, beautiful planet, and we have reports from this planet from other sources as well. These are tall humans sometimes they're blonde very often they're blonde uh, very often they're blue-eyed but this you know in this period of time they have a a fashion mm -hmm. a fashion to wear uh, green and because they're very advanced they were able to genetically put the green color right in their skin so they are like plants synthesizing the energy from light so they're more ecological this way so it's popular to be green, even the skin would be green. Yes, that's now true. Now you can talk about them if you like. Yeah, it's popular for them to be green. You fit in better. I know that Peter is green. Uh-huh. And that um, I don't know a whole lot about them, but I know that they are very, very friendly, very mild-mannered. At least the, the ones from ERA are very mild-mannered, very giving, uh empathic and uh, of course uh, telepathic and um, they uh, live in the fourth dimension now yes and um, but all species were originally third dimension so yes. they move they move up as they get as uh, things move along in their cultures uh -huh. so let's focus on Pleiadians have you ever seen one no, I haven't. Only the shadows of them. What well, when I when I channel, I can see the their their shadows sort of. Uh huh. But that's all I can see. I don't really see their faces or. So Tepe is our contact in uh, among errands. Uh, when he comes through, how how does he feel? How do you feel him? I just he's in my brain. Most of the uh, most of the aliens just come into the my head, but Lakash, the blue comes into the your blue body. Blue Pleiadian, yes. Comes into your body, but um, most of them just come into your head, uh -huh. and they don't really feel your body, and I don't feel the, them, but I hear them. Uh -huh. That's it. I hear them in this off to the side a little. What can you tell about Tepe? Tepe is the more quiet actually uh -huh. Uh -huh. very intellectual hard working um a very wonderful person uh -huh. and um a very wonderful alien i should say and um he uh is caring about the human race a lot right now so what is his profession he's he's actually a sub commander from of uh these do and he's helping with the uh the weather and the and the seismic things as well where is he working he's working in the ship that's uh in the uh 
North American contact continent. About yes. Yeah. So, so they all know a bit about what, uh, North America. What what do you know the shape of the ship of the ship? No, I don't. No, uh, we never know. asked them what the uh -huh, shape of the ship uh -huh. was, but um, I do know that it moves from place to place in North American continent, even into Canada and down into Mexico at times. So, but it goes where it needs to go to help weather conditions, some seismic conditions, and whatever they find um, that may be too severe, so. I remember one of the first conversations with uh, Tepe, and uh, what characterized him was that he was describing something about spirituality, <laughs> describing something about spirituality and negativity, yes. and he used analogy from weather. He used the analogy of uh, Air fronts in the weather where uh, you know, cold air moves and hot air moves and things of that sort. He tried to explain the spirituality through weather patterns, and that's a signature of uh, a weather specialist. He was so much immersed in, in controlling the weather and thinking about that that he couldn't find a better analogy other than talking about the, <laughs> the clouds and, you know, for me, it was a foreign analogy, and I thought that illustrates that he is real. I mean, that well, the fact that he talks about the weather when, when even not invited uh, illustrates that he was very real and really speaking, really working on the weather. And and that's basically his specialty. Other aliens we speak to have other speciality, specialties, but he was more focused on weather and stuff. <coughs> Another thing that um, kind of uh, characterized him, he was easily upset. He was uh, disappointed about Earth governments. When, uh, when we started talking in May, he said that they first agreed for something, some positive move, and then representatives, I guess, not the whole government, but representatives, some people, and then they backed away and changed their mind breaking up the, the commitments at that time. So he was disappointed, and, and I said to him that, that uh, you know, don't you like the, don't you follow the law of attraction by being disappointed, kind of attract more negativity to your life? And he said, no, for him, for them, in four dimension, it doesn't apply, which I don't believe that that is the case, but in any case, he, he is easily negative and depressed and uh, not as far as we do, but, but he gets upset and disappointed. Uh, again, you know, that's maybe a sign of a good person. Um, it is a sign of a good person. He is, uh, he is caring, yes. And in general, Pleiadians seem to be often condescending in their style when they when they ch at least when they channel I didn't speak to them directly but when they channel they are the same condescending and sort of a little bit upright and proud of them and looking at us down which is maybe the case they're still helping and trying to help they they they're nice um and they're part of that Gork Fitnir Alliance, which uh, which is uh, doing the Earth project and preparing the first contact. I'll pause now and we'll continue maybe later. <laughs>